Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Bomber Crew, USAAF, a DLC for Bomber Crew, which allows you to continue the Bomber Crew game as an American bomber rather than a British. This is a game developed by uh, Curve Digital, uh, and uh, pu or actually no, published by Curve Digital and uh, developed by Runner Duck. And it is a really enjoyable World War II crew management game. Now, this game is the prequel to Space Crew, which is another crew management game which takes place in space and a spaceship, which just recently came up out by the same developers and publishers. Um, so either one of those games, I think, is a really good time. I actually prefer Bomber Crew. It's uh, a really interesting sort of game that, because I think of the historical uh, baggage that comes with knowing, you know, what I think a lot of, uh, a lot of at least folks who probably follow my channel know about the bomber offensive in World War II. Uh, it, it has a little bit more charm to it. It's very cartoony. It's not realistic in any way, uh, but I think it's a really interesting and enjoyable game. I recently live streamed this on my Twitch channel. We had a lot of uh, followers show up and we we uh, had a really good time and in today's episode we're going to be reconstituting our crew and our last one uh, our bomber was shot down and all but one of our crew members all but one that is Helsian Strat, uh, were were killed but Helsian Strat, another uh, youtuber you should certainly check out uh, their channel as well I'll link it in the description uh, was the sole survivor when the bomber broke in half over the water and then slammed uh, into the water uh, being the one survivor. So we're in the process of uh, naming a bunch of new recruits, new new uh, crew members, um, after several of the folks who are following the stream, and uh, stick around for the video. I think it's a, it's a good one, and let me know your thoughts below. Uh, to succeed Newhauser, we'll go with this individual. They're more experienced by the looks of it. Death is inevitable. Ooh, that's a mouthful there. Vatac versus the world. You are our new engineer. And we'll go with Ruth Gordon. Let's see, who wants to be Ruth Gordon? Sorry, I'm changing your first name here. Moldus. Fresh meat mullet us. Uh, actually, no, we still got one more spot to fill, one gunner. Who am I missing? Uh, I guess we'll go with... Uh, Lake L1, there you go. You'll be our, our last crew member left. So we now have a full crew. Everybody is recruited. You know what I'm going to do? Didn't seem like speed mattered too much in that last round. I'm going to make everybody armored as fuck. Uh, okay, we already did that. So let's do full presets. I'm going to go with a basic armored set for everybody. Everybody in the last crew had their own individualistic setup. Everybody looked all slick and swag and whatnot. Um, I want everybody to be in an armored set, but it doesn't look like I have the cash for that. So I have to be a little bit more... I can't equip everybody the way I want to equip them all. So we'll just give these guys... We'll give everybody some default setups based off... Whoops based on their particular roles. No more money, so I guess, uh, Lake, you just kind of get the scraps. Sorry, buddy. No money for you. So you're going to go up... <laughs> oh, boy. That's going to be rough. You're going up with no gear. Ouch. <laughs> well, at least you'll be unique, Lake. You're going to go, apparently the U.S. military is so hard up for equipment that you're going up in uh, in uh, in civilian gear. So good luck with that. I don't even know if it'll let me. It's giving me this, like, exclamation point that you don't have any gear. 
Oh, I do have some in storage. So I've got some items in storage that I, I can give you some, some hand-me-down stuff. Can't give you anything decent, but... No gloves. We did at least give you some, some regulation greens, I guess. Okay. So, new aircraft, freshly painted olive green. We'll just call ourselves Death Awaits, because, you know, that's probably going to happen. Let's wait on souping our aircraft up until we see if we survive. Flop, uh, flop-sided doodle? Yes, this is World War II. All right. Uh, briefing. New crew, new mission. Looks like we just get to continue the other two missions. I think we still got credit for that last mission as a success. So now we get the other two missions, uh, the Coastal Patrol and the Defend Allied Transport. They both claim they're low risk, but so did the last one here. So we're going to defend our ship against enemy torpedo boats, defend the ship at all costs, and we're going to go. Good luck, folks. I hope you make it. No promises, though. Bird, get us off the ground. Let's get that first nav marker out of the way. Ramgar. Something's already failing. Good God. Raise the gear. I don't know if that is a manual thing or what. This should be a fresh aircraft. Factory fresh out of the out of the factory. We're going to stay at low altitude if we're supporting a, a, a friendly bomber here. <laughs> Joe's got this, all right? Joe's fixing it. Or no, actually, it's you. It's uh, Vedic versus the world. Sorry, my bad. I'm not going to do anything with the fuel, fuel mixture. I don't think I can yet anyway, so I'm just going to get you on the top gun there. Vedic. We don't have any chin guns either. Two enemy fighters coming in. New nav point as well. Oh, five enemy fighters actually. Looks like that's all the fighters here. Why are you on the radio? Whoa, what the fuck was that? It was like an explosion. I don't know why we're taking a photo, but it looks like there is a, a photo thing we're flying over here to take a photo of. Give me some XP for taking a picture of an enemy ship, I guess. Yeah, there's a hole in the plane right here. Something blew up right near us. How about you shoot that plane right underneath you? All right, we got to go join up with our... It can be very challenging. To spot all these aircraft. All right, Bombardier. Joe is almost dead. Shit. Go heal yourself, Joe. I think I missed the target there. Can we come in on the target there? We have three torpedo... Shit! Did I not open the doors? I swear I clicked on the button to, to drop. Well, this is great.
Got it. One torpedo boat down. Oh, shit. He's firing a torpedo at our target. Uh. Our escort is taking damage. All right, so I got the... Oh, shit. I just alt-tabbed out of it. Three more fighters coming in high. All right, this torpedo bomber is way far out. He's not even at risk of, of launching a torpedo yet. Shit, I missed. He's going to get a torpedo off. There's no way we're going to get back in. I didn't even have a have a lineup of the crosshairs didn't even cross the target and he's gonna, now he's going to get a torpedo off of the target. This is our last bomb by the way. Got it. Close the bomb doors. Return to fucking base. I think we're on fire. Alright, so who's... Is everybody alive? Everybody's still alive for the moment. Alright. Do we see any targets? I don't even know. Are those f supposed to be Fock Wolf 190s? I can't tell. Lake is bleeding. He's not bleeding, but he's almost dead. We'll get the bombardier up on the top turret, I guess, while Lake takes a little bit of a seat in the... in the medical bench. All right, I think we made it, guys. Lake, talk to me, man. Talk to me. Just so you know, you're nearsighted. Well, at us, I mean, hey, listen. You got us. You, you, you know, you, you got us. You hit our targets. What, what else do you want me to say, man? You did your job. All right, Lake, I think you got it. The only problem with giving you guys some of your first names and last names in your is because the way the game shows, I only see your last names, so I cut up some of your names, then it's like, wait, who is that again? Going past Setif now. We're on the landing run. You have recovered from your injuries, the world. How much fuel how much fuel do we have left? Ooh, the the middle of the plane is not in good shape. You can see it's red. Fortunately it didn't break in two, huh? Oh, you also get better fuel economy, I think, when you have a uh, when you have an engineer on the on the tanks. I don't know why you fly over like half the airfield before you decide to like nosedive into the into the landing thing. Look at that. That is that is like a prototypical B-17 look there, right? With all the holes in the fuselage. Angry Mel, thanks for the follow, by the way. All right, so a successful mission here. We defended the Allied transport. We didn't have any secondary missions that were successful. I don't think we... Although we did take a picture of something, didn't we? So we got the one optional recon photo. We've now got 2,700 research points. All right. So there you go. Oriole 21 bird, you got us there and back. Vedic against the verse the world. You uh, kept the ship together, and the rest of you all did a fine job. Fresh meat Molodas, you dropped those bombs on target despite being nearsighted. Props to you, sir. 
24 missions more to go, boys. I'm sure you're fine. <laughs> Thanks for the bits there, Ramgar. You survived. <laughs> hey, no one was wounded. Everybody's fine, okay? All right, so we unlocked a bunch of stuff. First off, crew gear. You know, we sent we sent some of you guys up with inadequate gear. Uh, let's let's get that addressed. I want everybody who I can afford to have in armored sets. I gotta keep you all safe, man. So I'm spending most of my money armoring you guys the hell up because I take care of my boys. Nope. Oh. Lake, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to be the guy who gets left out again. <sighs> also, what did we unlock? Helmet Mark II? What the hell is that thing anyway? Give it to our pilot. That thing looks looks lit. No, Lake is, uh, well, does, actually, now that we did that, do we have any extra, extra gear for Lake? We might have a better helmet now. We'll have, like, one in stock, right? Yeah, you get that helmet to the one in storage. No oxygen in storage for you there. Sea survival kit there, though, one in storage. Leather gloves, we'll give you that. That's in storage. Lake, you're just going to be the hand-me-down. You're just going to be... <laughs> You're like the youngest kid in a really big family. You're just going to get stuck with everything that everybody else had. Thank Chaplin, though. Thank your, thank your older brother for reminding me to give you some of his old stuff. All right, secondary skill for our bombardier. I think probably gunner. All right, meanwhile, we unlocked a bunch of stuff. More nose art. Doesn't cost anything, by the way. So we're going to put runner duck on the uh, on the nose of that. We'll get some flying tigers on the engines. That's pretty sweet. Looks absolutely ridiculous. Give us some good old U.S. stars there. Well, the first aircraft was A, so we'll go with B for this one. I think all that stuff's free anyway. We also have the ability to upgrade some of our gun systems now. We've unlocked better electrical systems, but we don't have the cash for it. A double slot there, a, a two equipment slot rack. Again, I spent all my money on other stuff. An inflatable dinghy. That's pretty cool. Better hydraulics, better extinguishers. I don't even have any extinguishers on the engines. I've been focusing on the crew, which is kind of silly because the crew can die individually, whereas if the aircraft goes down, the whole crew dies. So right now, for whatever reason, they're using 30 cals. You can upgrade all the way up to up to 50 cals. I think that's just a game thing to say, like, you should have better guns than you do. What's this? A critical mission, Operation Graf Spee. Enemy ace in the area. Oh, I think this one is... This is the mission that will cause us to advance to the second part of the campaign. So you can see up here we're in phase one of five in the campaign. I need to get this aircraft upgraded a little bit before I go on a on a, an elite mission. So we've got a coastal patrol, which is a medium risk. We can go back to that airfield that we hit the first time when our aircraft got shot down. So I think we'll do that. We're going to go for the airfield near Mosero. We'll try that again. And if we succeed here, the enemy damage will be reduced for the next two missions, which then might allow us to try and make a play for the uh, the campaign, sort of the level boss, if you will. <laughs> We're veterans. We got this. I think I think you guys get more than one milk run to uh, to get you guys up to speed. Oh, shoot. By the way, I forgot. My, my aircraft uh, was shot down earlier, so I got to take a shot, right? There we go. Ooh, that burns. Now, I won't require you all play as well. All right, so, Bird, you got that slick little helmet there. Why don't you go ahead and take the aircraft off? Hello. 
Gotta love the, the flying tigers on the engines. Woo-wee. Look at that beaut. Oh, by the way, raise the landing gear. We're going to stay at low altitude this time. We'll take more flak damage, but I don't think I have thermal protection enough to go at higher altitude. The B-17 is such a slick-looking aircraft, even in a cartoony game like this. Gotta love it, man. All right, Molodos, we're going to put you on the top turret gun. Your rear-sightedness notwithstanding. Actually, no. Sorry, Molodos. You're going to go back to there. We're going to put our engineer on the top turret gun, at least until things start to break. All right, so here we go, boys. Into harm's way. All the gun positions are manned. The bombardier and the navigator slot are manned. And the pilot cr is also manned. We'll see if we've got better luck. We did destroy the target last time we went after this one, but the bomber broke in two and crashed. So that didn't work out as well as maybe we would have liked. My intrepid crew of mods and YouTubers all perished. With the exception of who's the one who survived? Who was it again? It was Halcyon, right? Halcyon's the one veteran. All right, where are these fighters coming in? They're over here, aren't they? They're coming in high! All right, boys. Apparently you guys, oh shit, get back up there. No, I'm trying to, all right, focus fire, boys. Focus fire, it's what I need you to do. Makes you way better shots. Look at, they're, they're, they're purple. They're gonna blast these guys. Get them, one down, get them. Get them. Ah! All right, let's go hit the fucking target. Three more planes coming in over here. All right, Molodos, open the bomb doors. Two sticks. We're on the bomb run. There's at least one untagged enemy aircraft there. Boom! All right, close the bomb bay doors. We've got to take a photo of this target here. Ready to use focus. Ready to use focus, sir. Where are those enemy aircraft? The problem with the zoom in is I'd like to be able to zoom less. So just those three. All right, Halcyon, by the way, you should be able to use focus fire now. Everybody use focus fire. I don't know what the radio for recon does. Nice. All right, bird, get us up to up to medium altitude. Get us away from some of this flak. Oh shit, the plane looks sh more shot up than I thought. I thought we were doing really well, but this plane looks kind of shot up. Who needs health? I don't see anyone who's actually seriously injured. Maybe Molodos could go. Where is this fire coming from? Damn two-engine. Those guys are like fucking two-engine night fighters or something. They just come sit underneath you and blast you to smithereens. 
So if your tail gunner's down, you get absolutely rocked. Something's breaking. Hey, Maladas, go fix the uh, electrical, it looks like. Oh, shit. Uh, Jones, go get Halcyon up. Someone's in the ball turret. We got we got someone there. I thought I had queued all the targets. Joe, get back on the waste gun. I think I do have them all. Alright, I think we're good. Just need to get this electrical back up and running. All right, repair complete. Good job, Molodos. Get back up on the on the front, I guess. Radar is back on, folks. We should be good. We're 40 seconds away from the next navigation marker, which it looks like is actually the air airfield. All right, bird, take our. Uh, Take our aircraft in. Bring us home. The whole thing's like flashing red. It's like, this plane's not in good shape. Who's flying this thing? It's, uh, isn't it? Who, who is our pilot anyway? What's 21 bird? Is that Oriole 21 bird? Keyferty, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. The belly turrets? No. Logan, you're fine down there. Whatever. There's, I guess I'll go heal you, Logan. There's no reason to do it. Halcyon, thank you very much for the, the resub, dude. Appreciate it. Why are you almost dead? Well, uh, you know, because you, you hosted me with like 76 followers last time, I figured we'd throw you in our crew. Uh, we had a crew of, a full crew, mostly of YouTubers. It was like you, myself, Wolfpack. We didn't have Tortuga in it, um, but we also uh, had some like uh, Finish from Wolfpack's channel, uh, a couple other folks. And the plane crashed in our second mission, and you were the only survivor. You had like a 2 out of 29 chance of surviving. Some other folks had as good as 50-50. You're the only one who survived, and so you're the one veteran in this new crew. My wife died in that. That is true, Newhauser. She did. Don't tell her. She's upstairs sleeping right now. But, uh, but yeah, she did die in it. So, yeah, maybe the vet should be on the ball turret, but Helsian, we've got you in the tail turret, or the, the tail as the tail gunner, which, frankly, I kind of feel like, oh, I like how Logan got healed up and then was like, I know we're landing, but I'm going right back into the ball turret. Nothing ever could happen to the ball turret gunner if something goes on during, ra during landing. Yeah, it was an ocean crash. Also, our plane broke in two at, like, 2,000 feet, so... <laughs> There was that, too. So I'm not... We've taken critical damage. Don't you dare say that. Just land the damn plane. Gosh, you're such a worry wart of war. You're ex-Navy, so you can swim pretty good? Well, maybe that makes sense then, Halcyon. The game knows more about you than, than I did. Okay, so we destroyed the enemy airfield. We returned to base. No slow time bonus. I don't even know how to slow time. I'm trying to look around the, the menu here to slow things down. I don't even see the option. Uh, and then we also got the recon photos there. So we got a good deal of cash. We're up to $3,200. Uh, maybe we can uh, we can get Lake off the hand-me-downs. And uh, that's two missions, and that's another 100 bits from Ramgar. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, all right. Death awaits, survives its second mission here. So I, I, someone mentioned that the USAAF is a bad uh, DLC if you're a new player, like because it's very challenging. And I wonder if they did they not scale the experience very well because I don't remember playing as a lane caster in the original game, being able to get guys up to like level five without even really trying. And these crew members' experience is like five, four, 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 five. So like they're getting way up there without without us really doing anything. 
You want a cheat gun, Mullet Ass? All right. I think we can get that for you. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. That's going to do it for the first mission with our new crew of followers. Uh, or I'm at first, I think that was our second mission there with them. But uh, it was a, it was another success, and so things are going reasonably well for this new crew. We'll see how things play out next time in our next video. Until then, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.